Panel, get ready for this week's Headline Hacker. This yeah. week's hacked headline comes to you in the form of an afternoon at the races. Check it out and get ready for questions. Okay. <laughs> they're at the post. And they're off right out of the gate. There's a lot of jockeying for position, but it looks like Oxford Prize could make it to the finish sooner than expected. Look out, here comes 90% effective. 90% effective side by Pfizer. You gotta love that German willpower. And they're out of phase two and rounding the corner into phase three. Trailing the pack, it's Putin's prick and Sputnik 5. The two Russian entries, they had an early lead, but have tripped over each other and broken all eight of their legs. And coming up the outside, oh, oh, it is Quebec born, not quite ready. The Canadians love not quite ready, but it's in the name, folks. It is not gonna happen. Down to the wire, and it looks like it's 90% effective. Trailed by Oxford Prize, and within weeks, the crowd is going wild, folks. What a race it feels like. Everybody is a winner today. Woo! Very good. All right, panel, now that I've caught my breath again, uh, for the point, what headline uh, was that hack? I just assumed it was just yet another story about systemic horse racism. Wine, wine, wine. Or should I say, winnie, winnie, winnie. At first I thought it was going to be counting ballots because of race, but then when you said Pfizer, I remembered it's, this is about the vaccine. Because uh, Dr. Fauci has even said, like, if that Pfizer's ready, he will take it. Like, he's, he's already given them his endorsement. You are correct for anyone. the point. Thank you. <laughs> Pfizer, the American pharmaceutical company, announced this week its vaccine may be over 90% effective, but studies are ongoing. This week, Prime Minister Trudeau said he hopes to begin distributing the Pfizer vaccine to Canadians when? when he gets a job at Pfizer. Uh, Noor? Um, when we see how many Americans it kills, and then we determine that it's safe for us to use. Yes, that's the Canadian way. I think that he'll have that vaccine, he'll announce it anyway, just before he says, oh, and by the way, we're also having an election. Here's your vaccine, go vote, kind of thing. By the uh, way, why is Pfizer getting all the credit for this vaccine? It was invented by some nice German couple, and then the, it only works because some clever couple in Vancouver, well, one person maybe in Vancouver, made the little uh, nanotechnology to get it to go. And then Pfizer walks in and says, that looks like it'll work. And it pays all the money and gets all the tests done. And now everyone's like, Pfizer, what a great vaccine you made. They didn't make it. See, well, Tom, now you know how we feel about England. <laughs> yes. yes. I already yeah. knew, actually. Yes. Nice. I knew at the time. High five. Yeah. They, uh, they've partnered uh, with the German couple, Pfizer has. Uh, but yeah, Pfizer gave them lots of Part money and then gets to take the credit. Trudeau says he hopes to get the vaccine to Canadians within the first three months of 2021. That's Hope. a nice specific wow. time frame that he's given us there. First, That's yeah. good. So January, February, maybe wary. 